everyone, it's Catherine and welcome back to the kitchen. We are on our journey to 25 different kinds of cookies leading up to Christmas. And today we are doing one of uh, kind of the childhood classic cookie. Doing a chocolate chip cookie. Um, very simple cookie, but as I have grown, I have tweaked my recipe a little bit. So there's a few little secrets here and there that I will share with you guys. Uh, like all cookies, we want to start out with a cream mixture. That's going to be our butter and our sugar. So for today, I have half a cup of butter. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then this recipe does call uh, chocolate chip cookies need both brown sugar and white sugar. Our white sugar is going to be one third cup. And then our brown sugar is going to be two thirds cup. Nice packed cups here of our brown sugar. And then we'll go ahead and get that creaming and work on our dry mixture. Mm, it doesn't need to go that fast. Our dry mixture is going to be one cup of flour. We also need our baking soda, which is a half of a teaspoon. And then a dash of salt. One, two, three, four, dash enough. And then we whisk it together. So as we're whisking this dry ingredient, we can peek in here and notice it does need to go a little faster. We really want to get that combined together well. And then this has just been sifted together so those three ingredients are mixed well. As this is creaming together, we've got one egg that we are going to break and put in there. But remember, no shells. That was almost a shell. No shells in there. And after that, it's been kind of fully mixed in there. We will slow this mixer down. And we're going to dump in a couple more wet ingredients. We're going to put in our vanilla, which we need one teaspoon. And I think this might do it for my vanilla. We'll see. have one more cookie left in it. So we've added our vanilla and here is one of those secrets that I found and it might seem silly at first but I promise you will not regret it. Uh, the next thing we want to add is apple cider vinegar. It adds a really good tang to this uh, chocolate chip cookie and I really recommend you try it at home. We just need a half of a teaspoon in there, just a little bit. may smell a little funny because you've just added vinegar into your cookie base, but I promise I am not steering you wrong. We are going to slowly go ahead and start adding our dry ingredients to our creamed mixture here. Nice and slow, not to explode the puff or anything. And then, as that is mixing together, we need our last and maybe most important ingredient because if you saw my butterball uh, recipe video, you'll know I'm not always the uh, best at remembering to put in the crucial ingredients. Uh, the last one I forgot to put pecans in, this one I will not forget to put in our chocolate chips. I will eat them though, probably before they make it into a cookie. Oh, this is such a good cookie dough too. I love cookie dough. Um, this is pretty nicely mixed though together, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to take out my beater. See how there's some flour and stuff up here? We're just going to pat that off. And we're going to take our scraper, scrape off some of this dough. We want to scrape all of it off because I'm going to lick those later. So, go ahead and take that beater. Not worry about it right now. But, we will go ahead and use our spatula to mix in that flour that kind of peaked itself up on the sides here. So as we're folding that in, we can go ahead and fold in our one cup of chocolate chip cookie, or nope, they're just chips, they're chocolate chips. What they are though, is they're mini. I do not use the large chocolate chips. I think the minis distribute through the cookie better and give you more chocolate in every bite. So. I use minis, you can use the big ones if you want to go against the, the rules. 
Um, but you don't want to use your beater to put those in because it really does break up your chocolate chips. So you just want to fold those in with your spatula and you get this beautiful, great looking cookie dough. I have already got my oven preheated today to 350 degrees and I'm going to put just a couple pastry cookies on our pan. You're just gonna use that small scooper. It is a fairly wet um, wet dough. You can kind of see it coming off the side there, but it's a wet dough, but it'll cook up nice. Or bake up nice. I guess I should use the right term. But I've got two cookies going in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. So we will see you here in about eight to 10 minutes. Our cookies are out of the oven and normally you wanna let some cookies sit, but these are one, delicious right out of the oven. But then two, this is the time for the last little secret I have to give you guys. And that is if you've got any sea salt around or really kind of hard salt, um, just give a very slight one crunch on each cookie, kind of spread it out a little bit. It is delicious. So it is a little bit of a softer cookie when you want, uh, what you want to look for is you want to make sure that your edges are brown and then your inside middle is still going to be just a touch gooey and I touched a chocolate chip. But I think these are ready for tasting. You wanna split one? Oh, ho, ho. ready? Mm. What do you think? If you are looking to kind of uh, bump up your chocolate chip recipe, and try something new this holiday season, this is the recipe for you. Join us next time, which is tomorrow, for another one of our 25 Christmas cookies countdown.